Hello, and welcome to the Genspace Theater. Here you'll witness many videos of my channel's past, and also a look at what has been going on in recent times. This moment will signify the end of a long-running series, Minecraft 3DS Survival, but also the end of the Genspace Gaming channel. With that, thank you all for being here today. Your presence here in this theater and you watching means so much to me and my channel. We've all come a long way in the last six and a half years. So now let's take some time to reflect on what has happened before we say goodbye one last time. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition video. And today I'm going to be doing my first ever video of my Survival Let's Play series. Alright, so we are going to now create a new world. <gasps> no, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Get away, get away, get away. Looks like only one pe- <gasps> It's two. I hope it's three. I hope there's three. <gasps> oh, please, please, please three, please three. But look at this. I did a lot of off-camera work, and I did all of this off-camera. As you can see right here, here's a brand new achievements tab. So, and the reason why I'm on the home screen is because there is now another update, and this is probably the best update so far for this version. That is because there is now multiplayer in this version, but unfortunately it's not online multiplayer, it's just local multiplayer with other people who have the game. Uh, okay, let's just go down here. This is probably the best method. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, well, my best method just didn't actually turn out, turn out very well. There is yet another software update. Wow, I can't believe how many updates are coming out lately, but this is update 1.6, and I'm going to download this update now and see what's going to come out new during this update. <gasps> no, 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 please don't die. Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, another creeper. Are you serious? Oh, and I just got stuck in a crevice. Dang it. I couldn't get out of the creeper's way. I was stuck in that little hole. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, lava already. Lava already. That's always a good sign. What? All right. Shoot. Oh. <gasps> Oh God, all right, all right, guys. Quit, quit. This is why having autosaves in the 3DS version is bad. <laughs> Speaking of lava, do I have iron? <gasps> yes, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, stop, zombie, you're gonna push me in the lava. I think we do, oh my God, this is not safe whatsoever. No, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. <gasps> Okay, I have... This game is way, way too hard with the C-Stick. Oh my god. Well, this is kind of good and bad news. There is a new update, which obviously is a good thing for Minecraft New 3DS owners. But, unfortunately, this is actually the last Minecraft New 3DS update. Now, this is very, very disappointing for many reasons, and that's because um, we don't get online multiplayer. That's right, guys, no online multiplayer, which is so sad. So unfortunately, all Minecraft 3DS owners that were expecting online multiplayer, well, we're not getting it. And that is extremely disappointing. There's the spawner, so if I just simply fall, that was a bad idea. Oh, I have one heart. Um, that's the spawner, two. The fifth, 50th episode of Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS. That's right, we just hit 50 episodes in this series. Ooh, wow, more gold. More gold already. We hit the gold jackpot. There it is. So this is going to be my new subscriber town. As you can see, it doesn't look good much now. There's just one building. However, this is just the start, and this is just one building here. And in the future, I'm going to... 
basically hear feedback from you on what building that you would like to see in this world. So for example, if someone's to comment down below saying, oh, I want this kind of building and I can build it for you. Just make sure it's not too big. So then it's gonna take too many episodes to build. You know, oh my God, is that another cross? <laughs> Look at this. It's another cross. You know what? Just because the cross is here, I'm going to dig right underneath it. I'm just going to dig. Now, this may lead to bad things, obviously, because digging straight down is not a good idea. But once I dig down a couple of blocks, I'll just start digging to the side and then do my little technique like, like this. You kind of like dig down and you're like, oh, okay, it looks safe. So then I can just dig down on my side. And then finally, dig down until Y35. We're at Y50 right now. Oh, 40. <gasps> oh, there is a stronghold in my world. Yes. What does this have? Oh, my God. Fire aspect 2? In, eh, I'll take them. I got inventory space. Holy. This is This is going amazing. Finally found a stronghold in this world. Wow. Ooh, wow. The render just... Oh, wait. It's right here. Okay. And it has zero... Wow, that's amazing. Absolutely zero end board... Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me right now. Zero. It's got none in it. Still a more interesting savanna. I... Ooh! Hey, a witch hut. That's the first witch hut in this series ever. And yeah, and I'm not going to put any wood accenting on the upper floors, just these lower floors. We're back down to the ground with the 100, whoa, with the 100 memorial finish with a big gaping hole in front of it. And this is the day we've all been waiting for. Today is going to be the video where we finally go to the end. And yeah, this is basically it. We're finally going to the end. And as you can tell off camera, I did get some food, and someone made the suggestion of getting fish, which I thought was a great idea, so I spent quite a bit of time getting that. I also got some uh, salmon along with that, and I also uh, put my ender eyes in my inventory, and that's pretty much it. I didn't really organize anything else, but that's pretty much it. I mean, we're ready to go. We're actually going to be doing this. Oh my god. There we go. We did it. Oh my god, we finally actually did this. Whew, it is lagging. <laughs> but there's all the XP. Wow, I don't remember it lagging this much when I did it. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness, how much XP levels am I getting? Oh my. 57? 58, maybe? 60, 62, 64. Wow. Well... We did it. Um, we officially did it. That means three zombies were over here. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Did you guys even see that in the right hand corner? There was literally a creeper right there. Oh, wow. Another dungeon? What? Wow. I am honestly baffled right now. I was about to turn around after this corner, but wow, we actually found another dungeon with two chests. Oh, finally something good. It better not be like, like Aqua Affinity or something. Please don't be Aqua Affinity. <gasps> Fortune 2? Oh, and it just auto-saved. What a perfect time to auto-save too. Wow. Fortune 2. This early on in the game. And 
110. So there's our first milestone. So there's the diamonds. Like I said, it's at least three. So let's see. Actually, I'm going to dig around it. Let's see how many there actually is here. I think it is only three, though. And this is going to be a pretty special video because recently on my channel, I reached 3,000 subscribers. So thank you all for helping me reach this achievement. It is a 3K room. And I basically made this kind of like to represent the milestone, almost like I did the uh, milestone museum for the 110, but this, in my opinion, is way better. But essentially, that's what it's going to be like. I'm basically just going to fill up every single layer, and yes, it is four blocks deep. So it is decently deep, but I didn't want to make it any deeper because, obviously, like I said, the 3K room is right beneath here. And I do not want to break into that. And this episode marks a large monument in my Minecraft 3DS series. And that is because I figured out a way to transfer my game and my save file from Minecraft 3DS over to my computer. And now I can play Minecraft 3DS on the computer. Yeah, I know. That is amazing. And that means I don't have to worry about buying a capture card and my Minecraft 3DS series videos will be much better quality without having to point my iPad at the screen. So that is definitely great in my opinion. Hello everyone, and welcome back to their Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Session Let's Play video. And this is part 125 of my Let's Play series. And this video is me a little bit different from my past Minecraft 3DS Let's Play videos. And because I reached the 25th episode in my Season 2 Let's Play, I figured why don't I look back at the past 25 episodes and do a tour of my world. So let's go ahead and light up the portal, and there we go. So the nether room is coming together quite nicely. And then upstairs, I finished both of the crop areas. And as you can see, both crop areas now have the entirety of the dirt and water filled in. And also, the glass roof is finished as well. So as of right now, the barn is pretty much complete. And this video is going to be a very special video. And that is because today on my channel, I just reached 4,000 subscribers. So I'm almost wondering what we're going to find. Oh, wow. Not even like three blocks, three blocks in. We already found diamonds on this exact row. How lucky of a guess. Oh, oh my God, that was such a lucky guess. And obviously the zero will be super easy because I've made zeros in every single other monument prior to this. So very, very simple. And that looks like it's one too high, but it's actually not. So we're actually fine. And there we go. So the zero is done. So now we have all the numbers in place. One, six, and zero. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS edition Let's Play video. This is Jin Space Gaming. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing some building. What the heck? Oh man. This episode is going to be a great episode. Wow guys, this is Strange Space Gaming and I just died.
Okay, so let's go ahead and go outside and test out these ender eyes. So now if I had to guess which direction it would go in, it would probably either go that way or that way. But who knows? I mean, or it could even go in this direction too. I mean, any one of these in this area, it's probably not going to be the case. But let's just go ahead and stand out here where the Christmas tree was just for good luck. Oh, it went that way. Wait, hold on a second. I had two under eyes. Why did it use up both? That's weird. Well, at least it dropped so I can use it again. Oh yeah, how weird is that? I made two ender eyes, but when I threw it, only one threw out. Now I have one left. Oh, well, that sucks. And as you can already tell, I am using the boot NTR function that is available on hacked 3ds systems. So that is why the quality is a little bit different from my past Minecraft 3DS videos. So I finally got this working and I decided to try it out just for one video, and I wanted to hear your guys' opinions. I can get started on it, I can at least make the 5 and K. So there you go guys, that's gonna conclude it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for- no, I'm just kidding. We're not done yet, obviously, because I've already made the 5K. Technically, the 5K room is done, because the 5K's there. As you can tell, my skin is different today. I'm finally using my Gen Space Gaming skin, as you can tell. So yes, this has been long awaited and I should have done this a long time ago, but finally I am now using the official Gen Space Gaming skin. And you may have also kind of noticed that the Gen Space Gaming skin head is now built over here. This is something else I wanted to add too. So yes, after working on this mansion for about, I think it's been like 30 episodes, maybe a little bit less than that at this point. So I'm left with all of this space for my bedroom, which I'm going to be utilizing all of it for my bedroom. So yeah, <laughs> well, here we go. This huge area for just a single bed in the back, but obviously we'll just reset my response. So. so this is going to be, well, pretty much the last milestone before 200. So in this video today, I talked about this in the last video, but I think I'm gonna do a full and complete tour of my mansion. Okay, so I'm now back in the game from that just horrific crash. So I have my bed down, I actually managed to find some water, so there's that, and all my stuff is ready to go. So just letting you guys know now, the Ender Dragon is not fun in this version. It just is not. I mean, I said, oh, I don't have Ender Pearls, so that means I can't teleport down. I can kill Endermen. The Ender Dragon does that a lot to me. A lot. Wow, it's constant. It's actually just constant. Wow, is the dragon just like not gonna leave me alone for like two seconds? That's just great, isn't it? Now I'm down to half a heart. Ah, uh, okay. Yes! All right, I'm actually getting somewhere now. I have two gone. I'm really scared though, because I'm scared that the dragon's gonna throw magic on me as I'm eating. Oh, 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 okay, that's okay. I will just respawn and keep going. I don't know if I'll even go through the tower. This is actually super dangerous, by the way. Doing it at the front of the tower like this. This is not a good idea whatsoever. Well, I actually did it. That is shocking. So, it has a not happened. Oh shoot, that one is gone already. Dang it! I thought that was one of them. Well, I just wasted a bunch of blocks in my time. And the dragon could easily be perching. So that time that I just spent grabbing the other one, I could have grabbed this one instead. And then I could have been grabbing another one after this. So I would have been up to seven. Oh shoot, I was not ready for that. Okay. Whoa. I definitely need to save. Let's get out of here. Oh. Oh, finally. Okay, this platform really helps so much. Just, oh God, please don't crash on me. Yeah, and then I can maybe place some like fencing around it just to kind of look, make it look a little bit more like it makes sense. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition Let's Play video. And this is part 199 of my Let's Play series. So yeah, now that I've just said those two sentences, that is gonna be the last time I ever say that. I know, this is a very depressing way to start this video. But, uh, yeah, that is the last time I'm ever going to say. And it's also the last time you guys are ever gonna hear those two sentences. Well, not really if you guys go back and watch my old videos. But the point is, is that this is the last regular Let's Play video. 
in my Minecraft 3DS survival series. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in episode 200. Minecraft 3DS, a game with many flaws and many drawbacks compared to most other Minecraft editions. However, this did not stop many from enjoying the game and appreciating its nostalgic old Minecraft feeling. Take a minute to reflect on your experience playing Minecraft 3DS for however long you have played the game for. What were your favorite parts about the game and what kind of experiences did you have? For me, it had to have been the nostalgic feeling of the game and the quirks that this version had that made it special in its own way. Minecraft 3DS has been one heck of an experience over the years, due to trying to find ways to work around its limitations, to enjoying its simplicity and nostalgic nature, and the fact that it managed to bring a community of players together in more recent times. Despite this being the end of content on my channel, the legacy of this game should continue to live on, even if it's not at the same level as it once was. Since we're on the lines of Minecraft 3DS, let's take a look at all my scripted Minecraft 3DS content helping to further get the word out about this edition and to help inform players and people who don't own the game alike. Here we go, we are gonna purchase Minecraft on the Nintendo 3DS, right here on camera. There we go, we just purchased the game. If you're looking for the best seed to use in your Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition world, then you have come to the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to be going over the top 4 best Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition seeds. So, without further ado, here we go. To this day, Minecraft 3DS remains as one of the most interesting and unique Minecraft versions. And with the 3D feature, it could have been one of the most popular additions due to that one feature being added. Like I said, the 3D feature was promised at launch, but ever since then, it was never talked about again. In this video, I'm going to be going over four additional seeds that are in this version that are great to use. So yeah, out of every version of Minecraft that's out there, pretty much the only one that's never been speedrun before is Minecraft 3DS. And honestly, it doesn't really surprise me because this version's pretty underrated and not very well known. Yes, okay, okay, finally. Okay, and then when the game freezes, when I enter the portal, that's when I stop the timer. And there we go, Minecraft 3DS beaten in just 51 minutes and 23 seconds. In this video, I'm going to be going over every single update Minecraft 3DS ever had, and going over all the features and new things that were added in each one. Soon enough, I was able to defeat the Ender Dragon, and I got a time of 16 minutes and 20 seconds, which in my opinion is a great time. Now, in the grand scheme of things, it's not world record, because world record is 9 minutes and 54 seconds. However, it is definitely close to being on the way there, and I think this is a huge improvement to the other Minecraft 3DS speedrun runs that I have done in the past. Let's go ahead and get started with what Update 2.0 could have looked like if it were ever to release. Here is a list of features that I think should have been added in a 2.0 update. Firstly, we have 3D functionality. When this game first came out, 3D was promised by the developers, but it was mysteriously never released in any update. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition Seed Showcase. This will be the third showcase I have ever done, and this time around I am going to be featuring 9 total seeds. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at the background of Minecraft 3DS, as well as taking an in-depth look at Cube Creator 3D itself. In addition today, I will be joined by Rough64, who is the person I collaborated with on my multiplayer Minecraft 3DS series. Minecraft 3DS, just like most other Minecraft versions, has several achievements to complete. All of these achievements are derived from other editions, and for the most part, they can all be completed in the same way. In this video, I'm going to be going over every single achievement, all 59 of them, this version has, and showing you guys how to complete them all. Fast forward exactly 4 years later, and I am now going to be reviewing the game. Okay, I know it may seem a little late, 
but after playing this game extensively, I am going to be reviewing Minecraft 3DS in this video, as well as seeing if it's still worth it four years later in 2021. And once the game freezes, once I stand inside the portal, that is time. So there we go, six minutes and 45 seconds, just about that. It might be a little less, it might be a little bit more. The title of this video might show something different, it'll probably show 644, 646, who knows, but it's around that 645 mark. Have you ever wanted to get into Minecraft 3DS speedrunning, but never had an idea of where to start? Well, this video is just for you. In this video today, top Minecraft 3DS speedrunners CZX, Dark for President, and I will be guiding you through every bit of the Minecraft 3DS Any% Set Seed speedrun category. Today, I'm going to be attempting to survive in a cave for 25 in-game days. Yes. You heard me right, I am going to be doing a 100 day style of video, but in a cave. After some time, I actually ended up finding some diamonds already, which was incredible as I wasn't even 20 minutes into the challenge at this point. I did some more mining in this session, hoping to get even more diamonds, and knowing my diamond luck so far, I ended up finding some. And I eventually did, a dungeon hidden right here in this cave. So. This challenge was finally complete. A statue of the head of my skin. Yes, I know, it looks absolutely amazing. I'm sure this is the best thing I have ever built in the history of my channel. And if you are watching this far into the video, you are one of the lucky ones to witness me build it. And with that, the 25 days in a cave survival challenge is complete. I'm gonna be completing the first ever public 100 days challenge in this version. As far as I'm concerned, no other YouTuber out there has done a public 100 days challenge in this version as of yet. So I figured that I would be the first person to take on the challenge of doing a 100 days challenge in Minecraft 3DS. On day 15, a pretty large milestone was finally hit. I found my first Enderman, killed it, and I actually got an Ender Pearl from it. I already dug down underneath the two desert villages by this point, so I wasn't expecting much. But to my surprise, there was actually a stronghold beneath this village. I breathed a huge sigh of relief at this point as I began to explore it, until I found a library and opened the chest. Yep, you probably guessed it, the game crashed. Great, now I have to do all that exploring all over again. You might think that this is a terrible method of doing things, but it's a lot safer than standing in one place and shooting arrows at the crystals. I did end up doing this later on for the easier ones, but for the tall towers, I piled up to break them. Of course, I did have a lot of close calls, almost too close on some occasions initially. I actually managed to kill the inner dragon with no deaths. Once I saw the animation for the dragon dying, I made a huge sigh of relief. I actually made it. I survived almost 100 days in a Minecraft 3DS world with no deaths to report of. Day 100 was completed. I looked outside at the sunset for one last time and I went to bed. The first public Minecraft 3DS 100 days challenge has officially been completed. All the various content I made on this version, in addition to the many other YouTubers who also put out scripted content, helped make this version more well known and helped inform people about the ins and outs of the game. Thank you all for continuing to listen and watch. We will now cut to a brief intermission before continuing.
Before we move on to a different Minecraft version that I did a few series on, Minecraft Pocket Edition, let's take a look at a couple of the best rated series I've ever done. The Minecraft 3DS Multiplayer Series, as well as the Minecraft 3DS Skyblock Series. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new series on my channel where I'm going to be playing Minecraft 3DS in multiplayer. Now, I have personally never played the multiplayer in Minecraft 3DS before, and this is also the first time it will ever be shown on my channel. Also in this video, I'm going to be playing alongside Rough64 today. So, in this hey, Let's fast, Play... As soon as you got into uh, Fast Pass I punched you. Yes, that was perfect timing. So, in this Let's Play, we are going to be playing through Minecraft 3DS in multiplayer, obviously, because this is probably one of the few actual videos, or series for that matter, of multiplayer on Minecraft 3DS on YouTube as a whole, so. And in the last video, we started off by making our cave house and a small mine, and just getting things started with the new multiplayer series. And in this video, we're going to be doing some more work on my cave house, and wow, what the heck? <laughs> There's a zombie child on a sheet. What the heck is happening here? Oh, why did, why did you do so much damage? I'm sorry, sheep, but you had to go. Don't kill that cow. Wow, I, I, that I is definitely fish. an interesting thing to see my at the door. Line. Whoa, these trees. The mega tiger gets even better over here. There's like a oh, huge, huge tree. Right. Yeah, because I figured there's a tiger here, so we may already get pets. It's pretty soon. Okay, and also in this episode, Rough64 is going to be making a fishing dock over here, so we'll be using that for purposes in the future if you ever want to explore by boat, because there is some bodies of water over here. And this is part three of our Let's Play series. Oh my and god. And in the oh, last uh, video... Jen. <laughs> what? Look. Oh, there's an Enderman. <laughs> what the heck? You can't go okay. in the half slabs. Wait, where'd it go? It teleported because I'm Oh lost. no. Alright, anyway, that was an interesting way to start this video. Uh -huh. So in the last video we did some more updates to our little cave house and we also created this new fishing pier. One, two, three. Okay, just don't mind the fact it died. Four. Five, six. Hey, 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 what's up? Yeah, frick? I know. What? That thing f hit me. Oh, than what the heck? There's a slime. Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna oh, die. Oh God. Okay. Oh, there's a zombie villager. Oh no. Just get. Just get. Just get. Yeah, I'm just gonna announce. Oh, I have half a heart. Oh my God. Is there any food in here? Uh, yeah, we can't sleep. Help. Oh my God. Look oh, out the, the window. Oh my God. I'm gonna die. I'm not, cause I'm a pro gamer. All right, I'm just gonna. Oh, the door shut. Oh, I hit it. Oh, it's gonna. <gasps> oh, they're gonna. They're probably gonna come in. Are they in? No, we can sleep. Oh, they. Oh, that's pathetic. I didn't get a single slime ball from that. That's sad. So, you can go ahead and do the outro. Uh, Let's go ahead and do it inside of the uh, garden. Okay. That's non-existent. The non-existent garden. I am. That's maybe what I'll call this episode too. That I thought of an honor. Am, am I gonna? Name. Am I right next to you? Yes. All right, guys. I'm gonna do the outro because I have Jen at gunpoint. Um, I hope you guys had a fun time watching. We had a fun time playing, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Good night. Okay. Oh what? Wait. Oh. It, it well, is. I guess it does yeah. work. <laughs> oh Man, my God! Is. Your skin is like spazzing out. <laughs> Yeah, this barely works. Like, oh my god. Ridiculous. You can tell they really didn't do... They didn't really optimize this very well. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it works. That's the only thing. Yeah, you're welcome, guys. You guys will definitely use that Minecraft 3DS multiplayer. Like, oh my god. Well, we predicted it. So now... We're just gonna be mining. And what's good is if you screen record, it won't pick me up because we're not talking on this device. Yeah. Oh, there's a spider right there. I did not expect that. A spider. Okay. Oh! Oh. 
Oh, uh, look. I can actually here. see through because the chunks aren't loading. I can x-ray and see it. All I see is just a lava stream and just some caves. Wow, spoilers? Oh. Spoiler. Dead, dead end. I'm going to have to go in a I different area. I what's in there. Whoa. That was odd. What the heck was that? I wish I recorded that. I was mining, but it didn't have any animation to it. It was just... I feel like the game crazy. crashed. Yeah, I dropped... I dropped an item, and then I was able to pick it back up. Alright, so there's some more coal here that I'm going to collect. I feel like coal and iron are something we really need to focus on stocking up on for the time being. I'm Genspace Gaming, guys! There's two Genspaces now. Wonder which one's the real one. Huh. Hello, Genspace Gaming. Hello, Genspace Clone. Because his, his team or tag's also Genspace. Wow. We're like the Sonic and Shadow. Who are you calling fake? Yeah, who's the real gen space here? I guess no one will ever know. Ah! Bro! Oh, that was such a bad time to save! <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna go back up to the surface, so time for the real stress test. Yeah, this is really gonna. Honestly, it may crash because um, this is. I'm pretty sure doing that last time with me caused the game to crash, and that's why I couldn't see chunks. No! Not a skeleton! Oh, I'm out of here. Is what I really should be saying. Oh my God! No! Space screen. <sighs> Another Back creeper. Away. I do not want to Have go. Oh, there's like a creeper a right there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Go back, go back. Yeah, I, unless I if I just fight this. back, which yeah, I didn't want to do that because having that happen when you're going up to the surface would be kind of bad. I want to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Where's the circle room? I'm mining ores above a pit, so all the ores are just going to fall. Oh, a new area. That's well, probably going to lead to a dead end. Alright, so I'm now made it back home in one piece and without the game crashing. What a miracle. Seriously. Like, I'm not even like over exaggerating this. I'm honestly very surprised we had no issues making that episode. Dren, what's the stupidest thing you own? Stupidest thing I own? Oh my god, that's so hard. I want to say like these like Mario books. Not like the comic, but like this these other Mario books or like diary books. Those are pretty stupid. Those are really dumb, I'm not gonna lie. They're so bad. There's like curse words in it too. I actually have some Minecraft books, but they're like everything Minecraft books. Like it just has a bunch of redstone builds and just regular builds. They're not those like it's not the four books that you get in that collection. It's like a whole different, like, kind of book. Bro, I feel like we're gonna, like, take us, like, 20 minutes to find Spider. And as soon as we're done with it, the next night we'll find, like, 20. I swear that always happens. Well, there's already a skeleton. Definitely not one that I need. Well, yes, you do. Oh, bones. Oh, my God. There's a slime. Oh, wow. That's coming at me quick. I'm gonna okay. die. Where did... Bruh. Whoa, what happened? Oh, you died. Whoa, what is killing me? Oh, there's a the zombie, or not the zombie, the skeleton. I think it already fixed. I want to get the slimes, though. Okay, we may not be able to sleep because of this zombie up here. I also need it. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, don't do it. Don't, don't do anything. Wait. Do not do anything. Ah. Yes. Got it with the fishing line. Fishing line. God, my English is so broken. I technically am not wrong. I thought... There's one up there. It's right there. I see it. Okay. Oh, there's a zombie villager. Okay. I have to get this. You I see it up there. I, I saw its red eyes. That was don't like, you that have was two like hearts? I do, but I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care. Uh, I got I can't, it. I, can't. I got a piece of string. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, I got two pieces as well. Oh, that was... I think you need three. Clumsy. Do you? I need just two. I already had one, so I only need one piece, so it's fine. God, these fishing rods freaking suck. It's so hard to get the timing right. Maybe I'm just... Oh. Leather leggings. Uh, Are you kidding me? What is this? If only if you what were able to get luck? boots. Oh, man. If I get that, that's going to be the best day ever. I love getting leather boots as, an, as one of mine. You know, okay, I... not in like the weird way, but I no, mean in Minecraft. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Because you hi caught in a row. You hyped it so... You're like, you won't believe what I got. And I was like, what? And you're like, just look. And then you put it on. I was like, oh my god. So I have two pepper fish. Pupper. God, I cannot, I cannot speak. 
I have two puffer fish. I got leather leggings. Again. Bang. So I guess the new running joke is me leggings now? No. I'm Only boots. Kidding. Yeah, that's the second one I've gotten so far. That's really interesting. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. If I can get a tripwire, that'll make my day. Please give me a tripwire. I'm crossing my fingers. <gasps> Please. Oh, I was too late. Oops. They're still to consider Let's Play videos. Oh! What? Oh, <gasps> what does it have? Look, Look at the C2. The C. Woo! Ooh. Oh my god, this delay is killing me. Java? It's Ooh, kind of, it's... Wait, what the heck? Water bottle? I would also be sad, but it's kind of like Chris Pratt as Mario. Like, I'm sad, but that's hilarious. I can't get over Chris Pratt as Mario. That is so funny. It's I such laughed an... so hard when I saw that. Yeah, it was funny, but now it's not funny because how many, like, overused jokes it is. There's something bobbing up and down. I have no idea what the heck that is. Oh, that's my fishing rod still. Really? I never, I never retrieved it. The heck? Okay. I thought it was a fishing rod, but I didn't want it. I mean, you have luck of the sea, so our chances are like 12%. That's still pretty low. Would you say this is a scary forest, Jen? Actually, maybe it is. There's not a whole lot of trees, but once we get deeper, it definitely is a scary forest. Good. Well, the fact that there's a spider and another gold number zombie. Well, I did not see that creeper behind me, so yeah. I guess a golden armor and a zombie and a creeper has... Oh, Jesus Christ. What is man. with that? As soon as it's behind me, you start to save. You always save the wrong I time. don't even know how. And you know what's... To make matters worse, like, it's funny how there was I, another golden armor zombie. Kill. So I have two. Do my items just absolutely fly everywhere? Because I just collected my cobblestone. Oh, God. This is not going well at all. This is actually going way worse than I thought. <laughs> I didn't expect I mean, it to be this hard. I mean, to be fair, it's hard mode after all. Mine's going perfectly. I mean, How mine's running fine. Eat? Oh god, no. God, if I if I see another golden armor zombie, I'm gonna run. I'm not taking any more chances because at this rate. Oh, I actually, took your shovel. It just means yeah. that there's. I don't. It's fine. You can keep that. I think it's almost broken. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I'll keep it then. Oh, uh, free a, item a from Gen Space Gen. Gaming in this episode. It's so weird how Endermen teleport or spawn at the weirdest point. Oh, I've okay. I have half a heart or not half a heart. One and a half. I'm gonna have a half a heart. Oh, it died. It died kill? and it dropped an Ender Pearl <laughs> in the middle of the rain area. I'm not counting that um, as a kill though. Okay, but I just killed a witch. Would that count? It's kind of daytime, yeah, but I still okay, killed the mob. The rain just stopped. So yeah, it's officially daytime now. I'm pretty sure I got five kills. All right, uh, I just don't need to die. Four, three, two, one. Did the witch drop like anything? No. Dang. Okay. Yeah, it is. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter though. It's already day, so I wouldn't have counted anyway. I got another dog. Oh my god! What is with your luck? <laughs> I don't. This was not luck. I I wasted I what? Five? I, I wasted five bones on this guy. Alright, uh, yeah, you guys have two dogs named. It's all on you. Two additional dogs. We'll figure that out in the next video. Look at this great way of me coming back home. Head, so I'm not gonna take a chance. Yeah, so you guys now have three dogs to name. Basically, we kind of just press record and we have absolutely no idea what we're doing. I just said, oh, let's just work on our houses, but... I mean, it's just kind of a free-for-all episode. I mean, we can just do whatever. Yeah, but we I still... I myself. Bro, how? I don't know. Okay. And now it's raining. <laughs> Man, this... The gods are looking down upon us and saying no. Great way to say how much we don't want to do this series. But... If you guys are still willing, we are still like... Like, we can still do like the Bedrock se series instead. The only thing with that is it's not Minecraft 3DS, but it's better technically. The only thing is this. It's playable. You guys could just be amazing Genspace Gaming subscribers and say, yeah, I would love to see you and Rough64 make a Minecraft Bedrock series instead of the Minecraft new Nintendo 3DS edition multiplayer series, which causes us lots of pain and suffering. You know what? This entire episode is us begging people to say that's okay. I mean, in a way, it kind of, you know what? It kind of is if you think about it. I need to, like, predict when the bubbles start.
Okay. Oh my god. Did that work? No issues? It actually worked. No crashes at all. There's pressure plates. I know, but as soon as I walked to it, it closed on me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, blame this wooden pressure plate. This- oh, that's a perfect name for this episode. Curse you, wooden pressure plate. A whole one second off the episode is going to be the title. Yes. I mean, I ho as long as it doesn't crash. I don't care if I get one FPS. As long as it doesn't crash. You should you save. Gaming. Gen Space Gaming. Yeah, he's a family friendly Am I YouTuber. Right? Gen Space Gaming. Wait, wait, wait. It's Gen Space Gaming, though. Yeah, and he's a family friendly YouTuber. He can't come. <clears throat> Gen Space Gaming. Yep, this is Gen Space Gaming speaking through his microphone. All right, I got Mossy Cobble. I got 46? I didn't even realize I got that much. Let's go. Build Gen Space Gaming. This is... I'm building myself. How amazing is that? His ego is too high, guys. We need to bump him down a You're couple You're seeing pegs. it first, guys. Gen Space Gaming is building. Gen Space Gaming. Wow. Oh my god. That Come does, look at Gen Space that Gaming. That does not look right from the side. <laughs> oh my god, I have so much I have so much granite. Wow, this is perfect. <laughs> there, there has to be at least there has to be <laughs> the hail. It looks like small. I'm sick, which perfectly perfectly describes how I feel about making these videos. Or at least keyboard, because I, I was trying to type in a sign, but I can't. And the game crashed. <sighs> the sign crashed it. <laughs> okay. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition mini-series on my channel. And in this series, as you can tell, I am in a quite different place than I normally am when I play Minecraft 3DS. And that is because you guys can probably already tell, I'm going to be doing a Skyblock mini-series, but in Minecraft 3DS. So, like I said, I'm just going to break the leaves manually just so I can be right underneath the leaves if in case it drops a sapling or an apple. <gasps> oh, I just lost the apple. Uh, okay, that's not exactly what I wanted at all. But, oh. Oh. I just found it. Huh. All right, then. I guess it was in this direction. Well, okay. It's got a chest, too. Let's see what's in it. Oh, man. I mean, I don't know, you guys. Like, oh, we got a spider. Oh, that's actually really, really good. Okay, so that basically just gave me my answer. We actually can get mobs to spawn here. Um, we may be in trouble here. Uh, hopefully it starts walking down the path. God, it can see me from that far away. Because obviously I only have half a heart, so this is going to be an issue. Oh, there's a... Oh, wait. There's this cow. Okay. So there's a cow here. Um, because they can see me all the way from over here. And I can't do anything else on this side because... I have no more materials to do things with. Okay, so finally it is now day, and obviously the skeleton should be gone, and there shouldn't even be any remnants of loot left over. Oh, there is! There's actually a bone here! Well, what a surprise! Huh. Well, now I can finally demonstrate the whole thing today where I was talking about the, uh, getting wheat and stuff like that. And you may also notice- Oh! Well, how nice is that? I've already gotten an apple. Hopefully we can get a sapling. So you know what that means. I can finally eat. Yes, that's right. I can finally get a full food bar and a full bar of hearts. So unfortunately, it's... Oh my god! The melon grew! No way! I didn't even think it was going to grow today. Oh, and it actually grew on the other side. Huh. And another tree just grew. Wow. How amazing is that? Tons of epic things are happening today. This is definitely the most eventful episode I've had so far. Very. <laughs> oh, speaking of zombies, we have a zombie in us. Oh, oh my God. Was that three mobs? And I think I'm like one hit away from killing these two. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. I'm going to go ahead and kill the skeleton. Of course, I might get it first try. Oh my God. I actually got it first try. 
You have got to be kidding. Oh, die creeper. Oh, wow, there's a zombie too. Wow, this thing's actually a lot faster than I thought. I could honestly just stay down here for a little while and kind of just, you know, get some mobs. Blast protect. Oh my God, that is a really good golden chest plate. That is honestly a massive shocker. Not only did I get it on my first try, it has just absolutely incredible enchantments. Whoa, that is just amazing. I hope I did not just step on the melon. I did not. Okay, the skeleton's just gonna have to go off the edge. So already, you guys may have noticed, lots of updates have occurred. So first of all, the grass has finally spread all the way over to the friendly mob farm. And wow, it actually spread up to this block too. That is new. I've not seen that yet. And the melon has finally grown again. It's about time that the melon grows again. That's for sure. Okay, so the portal is lit. So I'm going to go ahead and break this piece of wood. Grab the lava real quick before I enter. And off we go. Which that ended up being just extremely... Oh my god. <gasps> oh, wow. I'm not going to be dying to a magma cube right now. Maybe I'll put like a lava, oh, I'll put the ender pearl in it. There we go, that's a good idea. I can actually have a use for that ender pearl. I'll just cover this up with some nether bricks and then I'll put an item frame here, but then it's off centered. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do the same thing, but um, I'm gonna try to get another cow and place a item frame up here. So I can have like one with the ender pearl in it and maybe I'll put the lava bucket in the other one. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition Skyblock Let's Play video. And as you can tell by the title, this is actually the last episode of this series. So yes, this is part number 20, the last one. So I figured in today's video, since this is the last episode, I'm going to actually do a complete tour of everything that is in this world, because I really haven't done that yet so far in this series at least like a full comprehensive tour of everything so i've pretty much completed every challenge in the skyblock series so yeah i figured that ending it off on an even number like 20 is a perfect number to end this off on so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this whole video and the series and thank you all once again for supporting me over these last 20 episodes so thanks for watching mm -hmm. Minecraft Pocket Edition. Honestly, this version truly started my channel since my first video was played in this edition. So I of course have to include it here. Let's go over some of the best moments from both seasons of my Minecraft Pocket Edition series. Hello everyone, and welcome to my first video of my Let's Play series, and today I'm going to be playing in a survival world that I created, but I haven't even touched it yet, and it is right here, so let's go and join that world. Alright, so the world is loading right now, and we are going to go ahead and start our survival. So in this video, we are going to build a pen for this guy. He's been in my house for a couple videos now, and he's getting quite annoying through the door. So we are going to be build a pen for you today. It's like, I made this pen for you, and you're not even near the door anymore. Oh, and look at that, I'm already in my skeleton, help me! No, 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 I can't even get through my door! Oh no, it's baby zombie! Oh, I hate baby zombies, get out! Oh, I hate baby zombies so much. I was like, what the heck was that? Stinging baby zombie. Out of all the mobs, baby zombies are the worst. Golden helmet. Oh, that's two zombies? Oh, it's a skeleton. I was like, what the heck? How's that zombie dying? Because there's a skeleton. Oh, it could be a straw. Oh, look at all that iron right there. I can use the slab is already collected. All right, let's see if this thing works. Press the button. Dispensers throw out water. You can see everything being collected. And everything went into the hopper. Everything's slowly going down in the hopper. I've always wanted to see one of these. Yes. <laughs> I've never, ever seen this before. I'm screenshotting this, first of all. Wow. 
Oh, and it's three diamonds! And an emerald. So... Like fast. Oh, shoot. There's another one, right? Oh, I died. Um, that slowly kills you. Wow, another chest? Shoot, there's another one. No way. He actually joined? You're kidding me. Oh my god. He actually joined in my game. That's insane. As you saw, I said Windows 10 there, and that is because I finally transferred this world to Windows 10. Oh, I thought I died. Are we even... Oh. Oh, 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 oh! No, 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 oh my god, why? Oh my god, are you serious? Well, I'll see you guys when I'm back in the area. There it is. I see, I see it. I can finally store stuff, or whatever you call it. I'm so gonna die. Goodbye, world. Well, guys, um... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new series on my channel. As you can tell, we are in Minecraft, which this seems pretty normal, like any other Minecraft but this is actually the Minecraft PE series I'm going to be starting now let's take a look at down here because in the last video I said wow there's two chests over here and in fact there is so we're gonna be looking at what loot these chests have in this video so, well there's a third one now I wonder where they could be coming from because there is no spawner around here oh I second guess myself there is a spawner right here so that was a huge web area, that's for sure. And if we keep going around, we may get deep enough in this cave to actually find some good things. But let's see if we can actually do that. It doesn't really look like it. That looks like part of the mine shaft that kind of started generating, but kind of stopped. And yeah, as I thought. This could be a connection of the mine shaft I just explored, however. But I don't think so, because it does not go very deep in the ground. Ooh, I drowned. Some of the most interesting mine shaft generation. Protection 2, let's see, so there's that, and wow, I have to say, this mine shaft exploration is going extraordinarily well. What? <laughs> look at that. There is a dungeon. What? Two of the same music disc in the same chest. Is this, oh wow, this goes really deep. Oh, we're already on Y38 and the caves are still huge. Mesa caves are amazing. Huge lava. Oh, and there we go. We actually found diamonds. I did see one piece of diamond over here, so let's actually go collect that. There's two veins. What? There are two diamond veins practically right next to each other. And then if we go over here, there is another diamond vein. Well, it looks like it's two, so we may actually have a better look at maybe finding three beneath this. Oh, it is three. Okay, maybe four? No, it doesn't look like it's four. Okay. Anything beneath it, though? No. Okay, so it is a three diamond veins. That's five total diamonds. Wow, I am definitely pleasantly surprised at how that went. Zombie dungeon down here with tons and tons of zombies all over the place. Oh, we actually have a good music disc. We finally found Cat. As in, if we go in here, we have another. <laughs> what? another cat music disc wow so that means we're gonna have four music discs in total and wow look trees cut in half it's interesting to see it bedrock edition a good area but what what i was like oh i'll see my head oh look a village but then i just noticed it's abandoned and it seems like oh wait whoa that is a huge mountain all of a sudden i got some emeralds all right that's a good start an enchanted book and it's, wow, oh wow, that's a great enchanted book. Another enchanted book with Lure One. Okay, it looks like we found another village too. This time it's a oak village. Yeah, an oak village on the merge of the plains. Perfect timing too, because it's getting nighttime so I can also sleep here. I guess my prediction was correct. There actually is a stronghold down here. More doors, what? The end portal's already right here. Well, okay, I guess that makes this really easy then. What's over here? Oh, that sucks though. That really sucks. There is no ender pearls at all. 
Oh yeah, there's there's definitely more. There's so definitely more. Unless if this is the end point. There is a library! But why is it here? They're also okay, here we go. Oh wow, there's two. Curse of Binding and Thorns 2 and Flame 1. Okay. I'm obviously not gonna grab anything because my inventory is full and I'm not gonna bother emptying it anymore. And if we break this away, what do we see? And another agenda book with I'm breaking three. So that's great. Now let's find the exit to this place, and it looks like it's right here, which leads right upstairs. I mean, oh, I have not gone down yet. Well, here's a new area. Wow. Oh, it seems like there's quite a bit down here to see. Wait, hold on. A mine shaft? Wait, what? How can there be a mine shaft here? Is this just a failed spawn? What could this be? Well, let's dig through. Wow, okay. Oh, that was a monster egg. Okay. What? So I guess it did spawn, but it's over here. Or maybe it's another failed spawn. Are you serious? There's actually a mine shaft here. This is definitely shocking. Oh my god. Wow, it's like the stronghold's right here. There's a chest down there. Let's go check that out. Very. Oh, it is very rare. Did not see that coming, that's for sure. What? Well, um, <laughs> look at this. We have more weird spawning. This is the weirdest stronghold mine shaft I've ever seen, or like one of the weirdest strongholds just in general, because there is just so much weird stuff going on here. Is this a new library? You can't be serious. It's the second floor of it, so it's like a bottom level. It's new. It's a second library. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Five enchanted books. What are they are, though? That's the thing. That's a ton of enchanted books. Look at the... Oh, my God. Projectile protection four. Plane one. And look at the C3. My Lord. Protection three. Oh. Fortune three. God, fortune three, respiration three, and oh my god, another fortune three. This is the, wow. I am. I almost have no words. This is an amazing stronghold. Wow. Two fortune threes and a single chest. You have got to be kidding. Oh, and of course this one's full of trash. Typical. So there we go wow i am just in awe we'll finally beat the ender dragon in this series so close there we go we have defeated the ender dragon in the minecraft pe series survival and there comes the xp rain and the dragon egg and there we go so we have officially beat the ender dragon Minecraft as a whole played such a crucial part in my channel's overall growth. I also had a series of Minecraft Switch and Windows 10 editions of Bedrock as well, which some of you might remember from long ago. Now, let's briefly go over some of the best moments in some of the Nintendo games I've played on my channel. Since the Nintendo 3DS's launch back in 2011, we've seen a lot of exclusive games and groundbreaking features that Nintendo has brought us with the system. With the Switch being out for over two years and the Switch Lite on the horizon, is this system really still relevant today? As you can see, I'm going to be attempting to do a speedrun today on Super Mario 3D Land, and today I'm going to be speedrunning New Super Mario Bros. 2. And this is going to be an any percent speedrun, and we are going to be going to World 1, then the Mushroom World, then the Flower World, and then World 6. And today, I'm going to be speedrunning Mario Kart 7 150cc All Cups. So as you can tell, we are going to be starting with the Shell Cup, and I'm going to start the timer right when I select Start. So, in 3, 2, 1, here we go. Ever since the launch of the original Nintendo DS back in 2004, Nintendo has been widely associated with the dual screen handhelds for years, up until the Switch's release in 2017. Today, we are going to be counting down the top 10 hardest new Super Mario Bros. 2 levels. Remember, this is just our opinion and everyone can have their own. Also, we will not be including DLC courses in this list. 
So without any further delay, let's get right in it with number 10. In this video, we're going to be talking about the future of the Nintendo network as a whole, while going into detail about it, and seeing if it's dead yet. F-Zero, Mario & Luigi, and Wario Land. What do all of these titles have in common? At first, it may not seem like they have anything in common at all. But once you realize that the last primary entry in these games was released several years ago, it all starts to make sense. Wow, so many great moments in many different series in my channel's past. Looking back, I never expected there to be so much that went on, but putting it all together really shows how great a lot of the series were. Well, that concludes the Genspace Gaming movie. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Once again, thank you all so much for being here today. And thank you all for the support on my channel over the last six and a half years. It has certainly been a very long journey, and lots of things happened and changed along the way. But now, it is time for this monumental moment to come to a close. Everyone may now step out of the theater. Thank you all once again, and I wish you all the best for what comes in the future. Hello everyone, and welcome to my first ever Minecraft PE video on YouTube, and today I'm going to be doing a tour world of my Replica Town world, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started with that. Let's go ahead and join that world right now, and here we go. So this is one of my main Minecraft worlds here. As you can see, this is a very action-packed world. It has a lot of cool buildings in it, such as this hotel that I made and this village. Oh, and also I'm being joined by a special guest here today. I'm being joined by my sister, which has a YouTube channel called JMN JMN. So go ahead and go on YouTube and search for that YouTube channel and check her YouTube channel out too. So as we're doing this fly around, as you can see, here's a school that I built. Wait, let me, Here's let a. Me, let me take a tour of uh, E's American Cuisine and whatever you want from me. Um, here is Target. So we are going to go over to Jamin Jamin. We are going to watch her give us a tour and of E's American Cuisine. As E's American are. Cuisine. This is a restaurant that she built quite a while ago. It used to be her but house, but then. It used to be my house, but yeah, then we're making it E's into American a restaurant. Cuisine. So. Yeah, pretty cool. So as you can see, here's the check-in, I guess. We have a party room available too. Okay. So what we have here is that we have all the tables and the upstairs. The upstairs is the party room. So Let's go upstairs, check that out. And here we have a PR, which I forgot what that stands for. Welcome to Ease American Cuisine Party Room. Wow, this room's pretty big. Oh, the PR means party room. Okay. Yeah. And then here's the little cakes for your and birthday. Here's the kitchen. Party and room. Little jukeboxes. No blocks. Or, uh, no blocks, not jukebox. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so this is a pretty cool restaurant. I really like it. On the sides too. All right, let's go take a tour of some other buildings we have as well. This is one of my. It's one of my first Minecraft worlds I've ever made in PE. Um, it's super huge. And we made a lot of buildings over the years. Like, so yeah, that was basically our part one tour of our main world, Replica Town. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in part two. Bye. Bye.
Thank you.